Stiko's Unlimited Challenge. Mission, show Stiko's power on a steep steel slide. With five pieces of heavy equipment to install the steel slide, and with about 50 participants, Stiko will show its power in this super exciting challenge. I can feel the tension already. Can they climb this steep slide wearing only Stiko shoes? Wait, what is this? It's oil. Lots of oil is being poured all over the slide. Climbing a slide itself isn't easy. And now, how can someone wearing Stiko climb this slide with lots of oil on it? In the meantime, one of our participants wearing ordinary shoes stepped on the slide. Oh, what's happening here? I thought he was walking on a treadmill. Can anyone in Stiko's shoes climb the slide with oil on it? Now, we are going to find out. It's really a tough challenge. Male team in ordinary shoes and female team in Stiko. Let's take a look. Well, I'm wearing climbing shoes. I'm a guy. I can do it. Climbing on the oil slide? It doesn't make sense. I don't know if I can, but I do my best. Our first player in ordinary shoes starts climbing. Look at his hands shaking. In ordinary shoes, he just keeps slipping even before his feet land on the slide. It really looks difficult. Now, our first female player in Stiko shoes starts climbing. She looks really confident climbing the slide. Wow, even Yana Kim would want to stay that balanced. Look, her feet just stepped on oil while walking back down, but she's doing that without slipping. That just shows how Stiko is the best slip resistant footwear. Stiko's technology makes it all possible. Now, we have our second male player in climbing shoes. Look at him, he is struggling already. He looks like he just can't go any further. He can't climb a single step without slipping. Now we have our female player in Stiko slippers. Yep, she's climbing the slide step by step without slipping. She doesn't slip or stumble while walking back down. She's back down safely. Once again, Stiko made it. Stiko Unlimited Challenge Car Pushing. Ordinary shoes versus Stiko shoes. Who will be the winner? First, we see a lot of motor oil getting poured. It looks difficult to even stand still. Meanwhile, players are entering, and the game starts. Push, push! Our top looking middle aged participant looks like he's dancing. Look at our female player. She's pushing it smoothly without slipping at all. This shows Stiko's technology. Stiko wins! Stiko Unlimited Challenge in a gym. It's a showdown between ordinary shoes and Stiko. I'm looking forward to seeing how well Stiko will do on a slippery floor with lots of soapy water on it. Our Taekwondo master shows off a sidekick. Even a master in Taekwondo shoes can't do it. Ouch! Even a master can't beat Stiko. Now, can he make up for it with a double sidekick? Oh no, he failed again! Our second barefoot player will challenge Stiko. Round one. It looks really tough even for Stiko to beat that barefoot player physically. No, look! Stiko's shoes are working just fine on soapy water. What a great fight! Look again, isn't it just great? I'm sorry for that barefoot guy. The fight continues. Stick versus barefoot, round two. Isn't it obvious an uncle versus his nephew? From the beginning, Stiko is dominating. Let us look at your face. Show us your face. Ouch, it's a hands down victory for Stiko again. The third round. He's just started running away as soon as the game began. Stiko is the winner on Soapy Water. Let's see who's the winner in Slip Resistance. It's a final showdown between Stiko and Barefoot. I can see tension rising. Now pay attention and see if our master can make up for today. Her attacks first. He's throwing a strong kick. Is he falling on his knees? He takes a deep breath and attacks again. He jumps like a grasshopper but fails. And falling again. He failed to beat Stiko. Our master is going at it barefoot again. Circling and circling. Master, this isn't a martial arts fight. What's going on? He's holding on to clothes like a preschool kid. Oops, he must be really embarrassed. Even a Taekwondo master staggers on soapy water. Falling and falling over again. Now this is his last chance. A strong back kick. Fails. He's going to get his knees broken or something. Once again, nothing beats our number one slip resistant Stiko. Stiko Unlimited Challenge continues. Now it's tug of war. Stiko can handle more than just tug of war. Let's see how well Stiko's shoes are working on soap bubbles. 
Now, our proud players are entering a 30-something in ordinary shoes versus three elementary school students in Stico. Game starts. One step, two steps, Team Stico attempts the first attack. What's happening here? Team Ordinary Shoes is helplessly getting dragged across the line. How embarrassing for such a well-built man. Once again, Stiko has shown how powerful it is. It's a hands-down victory for Stiko. All shoes wear out eventually. Wouldn't even a strong new shoe be more vulnerable to slips if its sole is replaced with a worn-down sole? This shoe looks like it has been worn out over three years. You will fall immediately if you wear this on a watery or oily floor. You cannot wear this shoe as it is. Nothing stays the same over time. This sole is so worn down that even an expert calls it useless. Can the shoe resist slipping on an oily plate? Stepping on it successfully, but wouldn't he fall if he loses balance? Can you take his hand and pull him close? They are making things even more difficult. But look, this new shoe is really strong, as if it completely stuck on the plate. L look, look, the person who was pulling is now losing balance. It clearly shows the difference between an ordinary shoe and this strong new shoe, even when it's worn out. Stiko's Extraordinary Safety Stiko slip resistant shoes are made using an advanced nano ceramic material that prevents slips on water and oil. When the sole comes into contact with water and oil, the shoe prevents hydroplaning and provides remarkable slip protection. In addition, Stiko is even more reliable because it was developed by Nanotech Ceramics Company Limited, which won the Top 3 Accident Prevention Innovation Award from the Korea Occupational Safety and Health Agency.